The 2023 series of Strictly Come Dancing has already witnessed a number of tens being awarded and some couples have made history on the BBC show. Former Strictly pro Brendan Cole has said that the judges have awarded too many tens on the BBC dance show so far. Strictly Come Dancing is preparing to head into its fifth week, with last week being the highly anticipated Halloween Fright Night edition. So far, the celebrities have dazzled the judges with a range of routines. With a number of them being awarded a score of 10. However, Brendan believes it's too early for the judges to be awarding such high marks. We haven't yet seen many American smooths this season. He, Adam Thomas, scored 7, 9, 8 and 8 from the judges. A 9 was too high for that dance he explained to Sky Bingo. It was a good number and he danced it very well. There were a few marks that were in my opinion slightly off. Three tens for Ellie's number closing the show. It was a great number but it wasn't a ten. Tens at this stage, just too early. No one is perfect, and it can always be a little better. Layden, Williams, and Nikita, Kuzmin, did a fantastic number but it wasn't tens because it wasn't perfect. Brendan Cole spent 15 seasons as a professional dancer on Strictly Come Dancing. One couple who experienced a flurry of tens is Leighton Williams and Nikita Kuzmin. The pair bagged an impressive 39 points out of a possible 40 after they performed an amazing salsa, with an almost perfect score. Judge Matsi Mabuse referenced time she spent in Cuba watching salsa, and commented, You guys, I could just steal you and put you in that show. Head Judge Shirley Ballas said, You are both on the same page with the choreography, nothing ever looks ugly, untidy, in this style of dancing.